Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you are new to my channel, welcome. So in this tarot card reading, I'm going to be looking at the current energies for your love life and then I'm going to be looking at the energy of the individual that you are dealing with. So I hope you guys are excited. Let's find out what is happening in your love life Okay, so Taurus, the very first card that is standing out for me is a card which is on the bottom of the deck. I feel like with this particular energy, there is an indication here of feeling lonely, feeling lost. This could go both ways between you and the individual that you are dealing with. This feels like it's a time of neglect. You know, you could be suffering in silence. There's certain things you want to say to this individual. There's certain things this individual may want to say to you. But it feels as if this is a time of, you know, where both you and this individual are not communicating much. There's a lot of things that have been left unspoken. I'm definitely getting that from this particular card. I feel like you may have been keeping quiet about certain things that you had wished you could communicate to this individual. However, you know, it may have proven to be more difficult than you anticipated. Some of you are, you know, going through some difficulties during this uh, time in your life. Now, I feel like that is the mutual energy, though, between both you and this individual concerned. Your relationship could be on a rocky patch right now. And there's this, uh, you know, feeling like it's not going to clear up anytime soon. I'm definitely getting that. Now, when I see these energies, I'm getting the impression here of someone reaching out to the other person. This could be you that reached out to the person that you're dealing with. This could be this person that you're dealing with that reached out to you. This feels like it was an opportunity, an attempt to either mend um, the connection or to try to get things going between both you and this individual concerned. And I feel like this opportunity it may have already come towards you. Meaning that, um, you know, this individual may have reached out or you may have reached out to this individual. And there was a real prospect here of really getting things off the ground because I'm seeing this as a second chance and an opportunity to really, you know, bury the hatchet, pick things up and move things along. Now, this could have happened, you know, at any point in your connection with this individual, but I'm definitely picking up that, um, you know, for a while, it brought a lot of happiness. It brought a lot of joy. Perhaps the two of you got back together and it felt like, okay, there's hope here. You might have seen positive signs that were leading towards, you know, happiness with this person concerned. I'm getting a very huge indication here of one person making an attempt, taking the initiative to either say something or to do something that sparked hope. And I feel like both you and this individual were looking at the situation from a different perspective. There was an awakening that occurred in your relationship. It feels as if it's one of those cycles that uh, happened along the way. It brought a lot of happiness. It brought a lot of joy. I feel like you might have been experiencing an element of euphoria at one point, you know, in this connection. But then we have this energy of conflict. This is an energy to me, uh, represented by arguments, difficulties, you know, perhaps the two of you were not seeing eye to eye. Things were going really well. And then it feels as if 
there might have been a disagreement that happened along the way. Both you and this individual just, you know, um, exploded on each other or perhaps tempers were flaring. It feels like those type of energies where everything is going smooth and then all of a sudden there's this massive sort of outburst or someone feels as if they're not getting their way, they're not getting what they want in the connection and it takes a turn for the worse. That might have been the catalyst which caused one individual to uh, leave the relationship or say that they need to figure things out. And I feel like your relationship went through some sort of a change. Now, I'm noticing here we have two major arcana cards which are indicating that, uh, you know, out of hope came despair. But then there's another cycle that's unfolding in the situation because remember, um, the difficult times, they're not there to last forever right? You should not allow the birds of sorrow to build a nest in your head or on top of your head. There's a saying that uh, goes something like that. But I definitely feel as if, you know, the two of you may have had an altercation and things got really difficult. Let's have a look and see uh, this person that you're dealing with. How are they seeing the situation? How is this person seeing the situation? For those of you that are interested in learning how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. There is going to be an extended reading where I'll be exploring these energies in greater detail as well as providing solutions. Okay, so clearly there's been some sort of an ending that has occurred in this situation. I feel like this might have been very difficult. We have this card showing up again, which is indicating a lot of neglect and an inability to release that neglect, as we can see with these two particular energies. This person might be the type that has a difficult time letting go of their pride or perhaps that has a difficult time letting other people know that they're having a hard time in a situation. I'm getting the impression from this individual that um, their energy is very changeable during this period of time. So remember I mentioned earlier, you know, there were two major arcana cards and there were changes unfolding in this connection. It feels as if this individual's uh, energy is uh, fluctuating. It's going in different directions. They're very emotional during this period. I'm sensing here that this person that you were dealing with they're dealing with a lot of uh, complicate, complications in their life. There's uh, things that they're keeping very close to their heart that they're not revealing to you. I feel like um, their energy is still very much connected to you, but I also feel as if they're not showing as much emotion as they did. It feels like when this individual gets rattled, they withdraw or they become very distant and you can't really read them. So you might be seeing this individual... Uh, become a different person where you can't really reach them, you can't really access them in the way that you could. There's a lot of conflict here. I feel like this individual... This person is either having difficulties or challenges emanating from within this relationship or there's external factors here uh, from the past that are causing trouble for this uh, individual. I'm definitely getting that impression here. I'm also seeing that this individual's happiness is, you know, you, right? But I feel like this individual can't be as open about their emotions as they would like to be under these circumstances. There's an element of change that is coming into play. 
I feel like this person is withholding love. It just feels like a very complicated situation where uh, this person is feeling torn and they don't know what they should do under these circumstances. This person's, uh, you know, they're thinking about change. But their emotions are all over the place. I feel like they want things to change. There's an element of conflict here in this connection. They feel as if they got really, really lucky to have you and find you. These are very positive cards that are coming up. I feel like you changed this person's world or you changed their life. And, you know, they may not have been able to express how much love um, you have brought into their world. But there's also this energy of grief. There's also this energy of uncertainty and worry. And I feel like... You know, this person wants to love you, but there's other factors you're getting in the way. It feels as if it's conflicting energies. If it's not emanating from your relationship, I feel like it could be coming from this person's past. These are, you know, difficulties that are keeping the two of you apart. You might have felt as if you had to fight for this individual's attention. This individual might have been fighting with the past or elements that have been, you know, presenting themselves as obstacles in your connection. I do get the impression this person wants to love you very badly, but there are other factors that are getting in the way of this relationship that are creating a lot of havoc. It almost feels as if they want to shield this love, they want to protect this love, but they don't know how to progress this love. So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies on an extended reading. What I'm going to be looking at, Taurus, is what is changing in terms of this individual's mind. I'm also going to be looking at the secret that they're keeping inside of them. Where is this conflict emanating from? What is the true source of it? What is the way to remove it? Because I feel like this individual that you're dealing with, they're struggling with some things that uh, you might be aware of or you might not be aware of, but there's definitely underlying energies that are causing additional conflict to your connection you may feel as if this individual doesn't have time for you you may feel as if this individual doesn't care for you but as we've seen from those previous cards you know they feel like they got really lucky to find you you epitomize everything that they've been looking for there's a lot of love here right i hope you guys have enjoyed your reading you can find the link in the description box below have a wonderful day and take care